In this video series, we are going to learn how to create die casting mold base assembly inside an XCAD, which is fully parametric. In this first part video, we are going to create a layout sketch. Let's start this video. Go to new file and create a top level assembly mold base. We already define a location. You must define this in a folder. Press it OK. OK. Our mold base part is created. Save this file first. Next, go to assembly, create a new component. Name this component sketch press it ok ok you can see inside assembly our sketch part is created hide this uh, datum coordinate system which is available in mold base assembly so we can see the datum coordinate system of uh, sketch double click on sketch you can see the datum coordinate system of the sketch before creating any sketch we need to constant this uh, sketch part when we click sketch and right click and uh, show the degree of freedom you can see here there are three rotation and three transitional degree of freedom we need to constant this uh, sketch first update the display to remove this select uh, assembly constant and go to fix and select this sketch okay and apply this fix constant you can see the constant fix which is linked with this sketch part activate this sketch part by double clicking that now go to sketch create a sketch on xy plane select xy plane define a horizontal reference press it ok now i am going to create a sketch for our diffuser define a diameter of 100 ok you can adjust your dimension text by going view here you can increase the text size i increase the text size so you can see the dimension easily i am going to define the position of this circle by using dimension so in future we can change this position zero and select this axis select this circle to find the center point select this center point and define the dimension zero sketch is fully defined in new annex sketch is fully defined it will change the color in black because this option is selected finish this sketch go to sketch here you can change the name of this sketch to diffuser now i am going to create our second sketch which is for housing go to sketch select xy plane and define a horizontal reference press it ok the sketch will orient automatically create a rectangle now we are going to define some dimension i am going to increase the tag size so you can see the dimension For this example, we are using this dimension 120 side and 125 in top and bottom and the insert size for example we are taking 300 and 420, 220, 220 from the center and we keep this insert offset from the diffuser 10 mm. Finish this sketch. Rename this sketch. Housing. The next sketch for height pad. Select our XY plane. Define a horizontal reference. Press it OK. We are going to create a layout for our height pad. Take a rectangle. We use within work part only. So we can select our sketches. We are going to define some dimension.
this is our insert layout our height pad is inside the insert approx uh, 20 mm so we use this to this dimension is uh, 20 mm when we change our uh, insert size it will change uh, our housing size according to housing size our height pad will be changed A sketch is fully defined finish this sketch rename this sketch the next sketch we are going to create is for ejector plates select uh, xy plane define a horizontal reference press it ok in uh, mold base we use two type of ejector plates one is uh, ejector plate one is ejector back plate both ejector plate dimension are same so we use single sketch to define the layout for ejector plate and ejector back plate let's define the dimension we use uh, within work part only clearance value between height pad and ejector place is 2.5 and uh, outer dimension will be updated according to height pad size finish this sketch rename this sketch ejector plates the next sketch we are going to create for uh, guide bus and guide pillar we use single sketch to define the location of guide bus and guide pillar they are in layout they are at same location define x y plane and uh, horizontal reference and press it ok we are going to hide some sketch for example i am going to hide this hide pad sketch and exactor plate sketch so we can only see the housing layout to create guide bus and guide pillar sketch use equal radius constant and select first this object this object this object and at the last this object so in single command we make all four circle equal press it ok we are going to define the dimension select this circle and it will generate dimension and define this dimension for example 70 for this time we do not want to scale no i am going to increase the text size for you i am going to define the dimension we use uh, within work part only select this uh, insert edge the center of the circle and define the value 50 select this edge the center of the circle define the dimension 25 same define for this circle now you can see the dimension when our insert size uh, will change the guide pillar and uh, guide uh, boost location will change finish this sketch rename the sketch the next sketch we are going to create is for return pin go to sketch select xy plane define a horizontal reference press it ok return pin will be placed in our ejector plate we need to show the ejector plate this is our ejector plate so create a circle ok create a equal radius select this again select this this and in last select this 
it will create a equal radius for all select one circle and define a dimension of 25 i am going to increase the text size for you so you can see the dimension and create your own mold base according to this select this select this circle center and uh, define the dimension 40 make sure you are using within work part only you able to select this line and create a dimension So you can see our sketch for return pin finish this sketch and rename this sketch okay the next sketch we are going to create is for exactor guide pillar so go to sketch select our xy plane define a horizontal reference press it okay it must be within our exactor plate so I am going to equal radius create a dimension we take the reference uh, with uh, our exactor plate so we are going to hide our housing S select the this and this circle and the center and use the dimension 50 Our sketch is uh, fully defined. We can see the dimension which is linked with our uh, ejector plates. Finish this sketch. Rename this sketch. Now you can show your housing and uh, height pad. The next sketch we are going to create is for support pillar and uh, block. So go to sketch, select our XY plane, define a horizontal reference, press it OK. Support pillar and block are used to give the support to our uh, housing when uh, pressure is applied uh, in insert area during mold close. The force uh, will applied in uh, center in center there is a hollow area when we give some support in center area housing will not bend and our mold base life will increase so let's create a support pillar layout it is recommended provide a support near a diffuser area and bottom side you can also define more support pillar and block if you have a place we are going to define one uh, support pillar and one support block the dimension we are using for support block is 120 this 120 now i am going to define the center which is 60 we are going to define this from diffuser 250 use flat radius 15 mm 
we are using like this dimension this dimension this line and this line in new nx it uh, automatically detect all radius are same so it uh, only show a radius in one place now select this uh, circle and define this dimension 125 position from this axis to the center of circle is zero we are going to increase dimension text height so you can see easily Our sketch is fully defined. Finish this sketch. Rename this sketch. The next sketch we are going to create is for knockout hole. Select plane. Define a horizontal reference. The dimension we are using is 20 use equal radius select this 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 and this define the center position Our knockout hole sketch layout is completed. Our sketch is fully defined. Finish this sketch and rename our sketch. We can provide four or more knockout hole according to our uh, design. We can also update the position of knockout hole in future. These are some basic sketch we are going to use in our uh, mold base assembly. In future we can also add some more sketches in our sketch layout and uh, also we can change our dimension according to our design.